everyone, it's Zuri, and I'm here with another video. Um, this is going to be a tag video. I haven't done a tag in a very long time, and um, so I decided what better to do than a fall tag, um, since one of my favorite seasons, actually my favorite season is fall, so I decided to do a fall tag, um, and I think it's also called, not just a fall tag, but the sweater and weather tag, so... Um, Either way, um, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at my phone, so I'm going to be looking down occasionally. Um, okay, so first question is, your favorite fall lip product? Okay, I, those of you that know me know that I love to rock um, lip gloss. I wear lip gloss all year, all year round, and um, it varies, or, well, yeah, it, it varies. Um, sometimes I will wear my NARS. Um, ch Chihuahua lip gloss. I love it because it has a tint of color, and I actually lost it twice in the same month. Um, so I have to get a replacement. But in in the meantime, um, sometimes I'll rock my Victoria's Secret. Um, I think it's the Candy Baby. They always change the name, but it's like this nude ish pink lip gloss. Um, and if I'm not wearing that that I'm wearing this really cheap um, drugstore brand called Jordana, um, and it has like a tint of pink as well. So I'm all about the lip gloss. But when I like a pop of color for the fall, I do this Makeup Forever, and I'm sure MAC has lip color, a color that um, is very similar to this. I just went to um, Sephora. I happened to be in Sephora, and so I went with this, this Makeup Forever brand. But um, this is Makeup Forever, and the color is called Rouge Artiste Intense, and YouTubers always do this, so you can see the color, so I'll do that too. I'm not sure if you can see the color very well. It's like a burgundy-ish red. Maybe I should swap it. Let's see. Can you see that? You can't. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's like a burgundy-ish red color. Um, or burgundy ish red. I mean, it's like a bur burgundy color. So that's that. And I love to wear this um, for a night out. And sometimes I'll wear it during the day as well, just to add some pizzazz to whatever outfit um, I have. If I'm going for that look. But most often when I'm with my lip gloss, because that's what I am. I'm a lip gloss girl. Um, okay. So, favorite fall nail polish? Actually, um, keeping in with the burgundy theme, um, color scheme, sorry, color scheme, I just can't talk today. Um, I like to wear, um, burgundy, uh, nail colors, and if I'm not wearing burgundy, then I'm wearing an all black. Um, and if not that, then I'm wearing my NARS neutral. Um, so, yeah, so the color that I go for that's very close to a burgundy-ish kind of chocolatey color would be Wicked, Wicked by Essie, and um, so that's the color that I go for. And I'm trying to think, oh, Godiva by Essie as well. So Wicked or S uh, Godiva by Essie. Okay, next question. Um, favorite Starbucks fall drink? Okay, so I am, okay, forget it. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into I'm a hot chocolate junkie. Um, I love hot chocolate, um, and my favorite is hazelnut hot chocolate. And it's so funny because as much as I go to Starbucks, whenever I can get my hands on some hazelnut hot chocolate from just any local like cafe or little spot on the corner, I I go for it, and I'll take it over Starbucks any day. And that's because it's just so good. And the funny thing is, it's way cheaper than Starbucks for about the same size as a uh, tall or a grande, I can um, get my hazelnut hot chocolate, which not only tastes better, but it's cheaper. And by cheaper, I mean like two, three, almost $4 cheaper. It's like, you know, the best thing ever. But um, other than that, if I'm not getting my hazelnut hot chocolate, then I'm getting a Starbucks um, pumpkin spice latte. And um, I just, this is 
it was so cute of her to she went the extra mile and put a heart on my cup but um yeah starbucks pumpkin spice latte i think is like the best fall drink ever because it's like sweet but a little salty and it just the smell just makes you feel like it's fall and i don't know i just love it um i usually get a tall because when i get a grande and I'm on the run, my drink gets cold, and that sucks. So I never really, I always get a tall because, yeah, I, I'm always on the go, and I don't want my drink to get cold like that. Hopefully it was, I mean, it probably can get it cold if I drink it. So, yeah. Um, favorite fall candle. This is the first fall that I actually haven't been rocking a candle. I always have a candle in my room um, when I, but most often at night. I find it weird to rock candles during the day. Am I the only one? But yeah, so I usually rock candles at night um, before bed. It's probably my bedtime routine just to, to get into that, you know, calm mode um, before bedtime. But this is the first fall that I actually don't have a candle to be rocking. Um, most often, it would probably be any of the fall scents from Bath & Body Works or the body shop has this vanilla, is it vanilla or is it, uh, I forgot the scent, that I usually use for my um, oil burner, because I have an oil burner, and then I also use candles sometimes too, um, but I forgot the scent right now, shoot, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, this is the first fall that I actually am not rocking a candle, so I'll skip right to the next question, favorite fall scarf or accessory, now here's the thing, I don't wear hats and it's bad for you I know because it's like 70% of your body heat comes from your head so you want to retain that heat in your head by wearing a hat that's the whole point I get it but I just don't wear hats I hate having to take off my hat and having cat hair and having to fix it so I just don't wear hats um, if my kit has a hood I'll probably do that but I just don't wear hats um, as far as scarves go, I'm still on the hunt for a really nice scarf. Uh, my friend had a great scarf the other day, and I couldn't remember where she said she got it from. So um, I'm still on the hunt for a really great scarf, but it hasn't been that chilly for me to be wearing all, you know, tons of accessories, cold weather accessories. Um, most often I'll just layer up and I should be good to go. Haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted cornice. Okay, I'd totally freak out if I was in a haunted cornice. I'd just like scream and just do a crazy movie. Haunted hayride wouldn't be so bad if there are like other people on the hayride and it's like, I, I actually don't know how that works, but it sounds, it doesn't sound as scary. Um, but definitely not haunted house. I've done a haunted house once in my life and I think I'm I'm good. I don't ever have to do it again, and I never will. It's like, I, as much as I love scary movies and I love thrillers, I can't do a haunted house thing. I just can't. Like, TV and movies for, from real life, mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, so out of the three, I would say definitely Haunted Hayride. Um, favorite Halloween movie would have to be Amityville Horror, the, the original, like the one that was made in the 70s, I think it was. I just, something about original scary movies to me is, you know, the classics are always much better. And I don't know if it's because there's no special effects, so it just seems more realistic. Um, but I just love that one in particular. I just, especially since I live in um, Queens, so it's like, it's it's close to home, so it almost feels a little bit more realistic. But I don't know, something about that movie just seems so real. I don't know. I, I love that movie. Um, but then, uh, other than that, I don't think, oh, you know what was another really good movie? Um, is it Insidious? That's another really good scary movie. That one was good. Um. Devil was good, um, but out of the, yeah, out of all the ones that I could do, maybe Amityville Horror, the original, was my favorite. What are you dressing up for as Halloween? Well, Halloween has already come and gone. 
um, and I was a little devil. And the reason being is because I wanted to be a bunny, but they ran out of all the bunny um, costumes. I guess every female wanted to be a bunny this year. I don't know. Um, but so I ended up I found, ended up finding this pop up Halloween shop, and I went to there. The closest thing to wearing <laughs> ears and a tail that I could find, and that was just being a little devil. Um, it was cute because I got to wear um, my um, Mac Ruby Roo red lipstick, and that's always fun. So, yep. Okay, what is your favorite thing about Bob? I just love the look of Bob. I love the look, and I just love the feeling, and I love how it just represents a fresh start. Um, every time fall comes around, you know, for for you know, for most people, it's back to school, back to work. And you just, it's a fresh start. And the leaves, the golden colors of the leaves, you know, the reds and just the oranges and the, the yellows, just all these different shades of color. It's just, it's so beautiful, especially if you take a drive. Um, it's gorgeous. And uh, outside of that, I just love the clothing. Um, I love just the types of clothing you get to wear, you know, you can layer up, so you just have all these different layers and stuff that you get to wear um, that really get to reflect your style. Like right now I'm wearing this plaid t-shirt, but I can put on a, um, a, a vest over it, um, you know, and or I can just throw on a, a jacket or my parka, um, wear it with jeans and boots and, or, you know, a cardigan. So there's just so many different um, style options as well for the fall. Okay, so the next question is, what's the best fall memory you've ever had? Um, the best fall memory that I've ever had would have to be, hmm, do, 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 do. I will come back to that because I actually don't know. Um, I don't know. I would have to say maybe taking a walk. taking a walk, I think in Central Park. Was it Central Park or was it? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I think it would have to be taking a walk in Central Park a couple of years back. Um, yeah, favorite Thanksgiving food. Favorite Thanksgiving food mm -mm -mm, is stuffing. I love stuffing. I don't know what it is about stuffing. If it's made well, um, not made well. Well, I guess it's box, but you just have to learn how to really make it. I love stuffing. You thought I was going to say mac and cheese, didn't you? No. I actually love stuffing, and I, out, other than that, um, I loved honey, smoked honey ham. I love, I'd rather have ham, smoked ham than turkey. I think turkey is dry, and I hate cranberry sauce, so that would never fly with me, but smoked honey ham just tastes so much better with some stuffing and then some mac and cheese on the side and then maybe some mashed potatoes and some collard greens and that's a Thanksgiving plate, honey. Um, but yeah, I love stuffing and um, I think I love it more because it has everything in it, you know what I mean? Um, and then outside of that, I love, I always get these two confused, sweet potato and pumpkin pie. I never remember which one. They look the same to me, but I know they don't taste the same, but I just don't remember which one is the one that I really like. Um, and I remember one Thanksgiving, my grandmother made um, the pie, and she put marshmallows on top of it, so it baked into the, the pie. like It was like a top layer, and it was just so good. And I loved heating up my pie, you know, heating up my pie and eating it with um, vanilla ice cream, because her vanilla ice cream, the best thing ever. Um, okay, I'm getting hungry. All right, so moving on. Most worn sweater. Um, oh, shoot. I do have a most worn sweater. I thought I didn't, but I do. Um, it's actually in the laundry. How ironic um, that it's in the laundry. It's in my hamper right now. But it's like this um, tan, light brownish color, and it has this full neck. And I love that because, like I said, I don't really wear accessories. I'm a weirdo. Um, but 
even though I should, but yeah. So anyways, it has this full neck, so it's like it gives you the effect of wearing a scarf without actually having to wear a scarf, and it goes really well with my um, burgundy lipstick from Makeup Forever um, that I showed you guys, and yeah, I just love it, and it's just really warm, and it doesn't have full sleeves, so even though it's really warm, you still don't feel like it's heavy, it's this heavy thing. Um, yeah, I love it. Next, um, skinny jeans or leggings. For the fall, I'm actually in skinny jeans right now, um, but I do rock an occasional legging. I think for me, leggings are more of like, if I'm going to dance class or if I'm running errands or that kind of thing. I don't really wear leggings as an outfit. That's just me. Um, combat boots or Uggs. I don't own combat boots, even though I do know that there are a pair of combat boots from H&M that I have had my eye on since the summer that I would love to wear with um, some shorts to make like a different locker sexy look. But um, yeah, so since I don't own combat boots, I would say Uggs. But I don't, like again, I usually wear my Uggs if I'm running errands or just going to a friend's house or something, that kind of thing, like just low-key look. Okay, and last question, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Hell yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. I've had fun doing this tag. It was really fun. I love the fall. It's my favorite season, like I said, and I thought um, I haven't done a tag in a long time, so why not just do the sweater weather tag, a.k.a. the fall tag. Um, so that's it, and this, I was going to say that this video has gone over 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you stick to the end, and I will see you next.